Hey guys, in the past 30 days, I tried making a thousand dollars on Etsy selling digital downloads. And that's because I've been seeing quite a lot of videos from different people on YouTube saying they're making $10,000, $15,000. And so I had to try it for myself. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my results. I'm going to also explain to you the entire process that I undertook to set up my store. So if you're interested in that, ensure to stick with me until the end of this video as we'll be going through this process together. Before we have a look at more details, let's first go over what Etsy is and what you can expect within the platform. Etsy is simply a marketplace where you can buy or sell different handmade items, or at least it's a platform that was created for that. However, in these days, a lot of people do sell manufactured items as well as digital products. Millions of people shop on the Etsy platform every single month and that's why it's a big deal and that's why you should care when you're looking for a side hustle that will make you real money i want to take you guys through the process of setting or starting your etsy store or at least how i started my etsy store in the last 30 days think about ideas of digital products that you want to sell in your etsy store and don't worry you don't have to think all about it on your own all thanks to artificial intelligence i'm going to show you a simple process that's going to help you come up with different digital download ideas that you can sell. You probably have heard about ChatGPT, but in case you haven't heard about it, it's an artificial intelligent tool that helps people with different ideas and information in general. So you simply type in a question, which is called a prompt, and it gives you answers. What you need to do is to come to chat.openai.com. On ChatGPT, you just need to type your prompt. In my case, I said 20 digital download ideas that I can create and sell. This tool is going to suggest to you ideas of digital downloads that you can sell. So as you can see, it's busy typing out so fast the different ideas that I can choose from and start selling in my Etsy stores. Another way to get ideas is to actually go into the platform itself and search digital downloads. You'll be able to see the different digital downloads that are already there in the platform, what people are selling, what's selling, and what's not you'll see that the results here are 5 million or over 5 million results and what this says to you as a new store is this is over saturated for you to actually beat 5 million stores will take a lot of knowledge a lot of learning and so on so i would suggest that you find a niche within a niche be more specific about which digital download is going to be what purpose is going to serve so if i was to type here digital downloads prints i'm actually expanding my search you will see that the search results has reduced to just over 2 million and so on once you've found your product you obviously need a store name you you can simply come back to ChatGPT and ask it to suggest 10 digital downloads store names and just like that it's going to come up with different suggestions if you find something that you like you can choose from it just make sure to check and refer online to find out if there aren't any store with the same name or brand the next step is very important and that is the entire setup of your store you'll need to do a lot of research in finding out the right seo keywords to use for your store you also need to do one important thing and that is branding your store making sure that you have a professional look a competitive look within the platform to get started in branding your store come to canva on the search tab here search etsy banner there are so many templates that you can use to customize and brand your store with you simply select the one that you like and select customize this template and this will allow you to be able to change the colors around to change the fonts the images and all of that this is how you can get started in branding your store make sure that you research other stores in similar niches or in your niche to see how they are branding their stores most especially the ones that are selling highly because that could be a contributor before anyone sees what you are selling or more product from your store they will look at the banner they will look at the overall image of 
of your store so that's why it's important that in the beginning you build a strong brand right now i want us to talk about how to create your digital products i have chosen to sell samsung frame tv art a lot of people are buying these kinds of tvs and they want screen savers that are going to look like art once they are mounted on the walls it is an accessory in the house and i think it's still a young market however it's also important to not only go on the market because it's young but also combine it with the fact that there is demand for that product so the first way to create your designs in this case would be using resources that are already available there are pictures and images that are free for you to use even for commercial reasons there are websites where you can find images in the public domain so the website that i'm going to show you guys where you can find resources or images and paintings that you can use is called raw pixel it is this one that i'm looking at here you'll find it on raw pixel Dot com you want to select the public domain because this is where you can find a lot of awesome paintings a lot of awesome art that you can use in your etsy store for your digital downloads you'll see as i scroll down that there's quite a lot of artists that are featured over here so if you like a style of art you can simply select that artist and you will see all the different kinds of art that they have you can download this and upload in your online store but the process is very much involved so i'm going to show you guys an example of how i would do it i like this pattern over here and i want to sell it on my digital product i would go in and see all the other patterns that these artists have selected and downloaded for free as you can see here I'll go to Canva and because already I know the dimensions for my digital download, which is something very important for you to research before you design a digital download so that you know how to export them. Another good way of coming up with designs for your Etsy store is using artificial intelligence. In this case, we're going to have a look at Mid Journey, which is a text to image tool. In order for you to get access to Mid Journey, you have to sign up in their platform download discord because you can access their creation board in their discord platform you'll need to come to this search box or tool here press the slash button on your keyboard look for a prompt that's called imagine type your imagination whatever you're imagining you tell this ai tool let's just say i'm looking for a vintage watercolor art spring landscape i'll also need to specify that this tool should create it as a 16 by 9 and to do that you simply press two dashes and type ar space it type 16 by 9 like this so it's going to work in the background to create the artwork for you and all you have to do is to download this artwork go into canva create it in the right size export it and upload it into your store guys i know that it might look like it's complicated for now but in another video i'll take you through the process of creating your artwork and uploading it to your store all right guys so as you can see from that prompt this is what mid journey designed for me or created for me and i think it's awesome i think this is sellable so in order to download this i'll need to upscale them by selecting you so just to give an example i'll select the first one over here and this tool is going to separate it from all the other ones and yeah guys I will be able to save this file in my system and be able to upload it into my stores. So right now I want to talk about listing your products because I think it's very important. It's a make or break, you know, for your online store. So I did a bit of research before I listed mine to find out how best I can list my products. A lot of the stores that are selling very well on Etsy are using very high quality mock-ups so mock-ups are simply images that allow you to put images for display you can also use mid journey to create your own mock-ups by telling me Jenny what you want so you type in a prompt and it will spit out different kinds of mockups for you you can also buy mockups within the Etsy platform there are stores that are selling different kinds of mockups for mugs for Samsung frame TVs for t-shirts blankets whatever download or design or digital download that you are selling you can find mockups there are other design tools as well where you can buy them so find the right one 
for you doing a bit of research another important thing when it comes to listing your products is your title as well as description you need to make sure that you know the right keywords to use in your titles as well as in your description and i think the best way to find out is to go into other stores within etsy that are selling a similar product or the same product that you are selling see how they are titling their product and guys use that as a way of finding inspiration to create your own titles as well as descriptions another important things are tags i normally create my tags by asking chat gpt to create a tag or different tags so far it's been working well so you can try that option or you can try other options to see which tags other sellers are using although etsy hides it there are ways you can find out and one of the ways you can find out is simply click on the product and scroll down to the very bottom of the page where you see explore related searches all of these related searches are the tags that they've used in their listing. So you can simply copy this and paste it in the document, delete the images and use these tags, making sure that you are keeping only the tags that are related to your listing. All right, guys, so another thing that I want to go over is promoting your products. I think it's also important when it comes to driving traffic and customers into your product. So far for my store, I haven't done much to promote my product in my first month. My focus was just uploading, setting up, making sure that I know the right keywords, but there are ways you can promote your product. Idea number one for promoting your listing is using Pinterest because Pinterest is a visual platform. It will be easy for you to showcase some of the items or listings that are in your store and drive traffic to your store. You can also use social media to promote your store and i've seen other stores that have got youtube channels and they're driving traffic from here all the way to their stores so those are some ideas but within etsy itself you are able to create adverts and the good thing about their adverts is you don't have to pay up front simply set up your adverts in the marketing tab of your store and whenever people click your adverts that's how they're going to charge you however you do control the budget they allow you to control how much you want to advertise per day within the platform so this is my store i've only started listing on the first of april so i'm 30 days in and this is my revenue guys sold so far 16 orders I've had 284 visits and I've had 444 views. So what's really interesting is I've only sold three items. That's a good thing about digital downloads. If you find a winner, people can buy it over and over and over again when you only have to list it once. And I think from these sales, I've got an indicator of where I should go next or which digital products or I need to, which designs I need to, you know, upload next in growing my store so guys this is revenue it's not a profit and if i have to be honest with you i am not in profit in this month with this store because i ran a lot of ads and i increased my ads spent so a lot of the money went into advertising another thing i want to let you know is this amount could have easily tripled but from the day that i set up my store and started selling i was running discounts 50 percent discounts right from the beginning this is a way of me trying to gain traction in the platform making sure that i gain visibility in the platform for the niche that i'm in i gain trust as well by getting reviews and so on so my focus is not really profit although it would be so nice to get profits with my first hundred uh sales in the platform so yeah guys i will show you guys a breakdown of this revenue because a lot of it is going into marketing and advertising in another video but i want you guys to type down below and let me know what you think about this side hustle of starting an etsy store is it something that would interest you is it something that you think is doable um would you be interested in starting an etsy store let me know guys in the comment section down below so that i know whether to bring you further content or not in this topic but this is today's video thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one until then have a great time